Hello, once again. So, how are you? Today is December 14th. Uh, I plan to make another video uh, a couple days after the last one, but it turns out that uh, editing the videos took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. So, sorry about that, but here we are. So, it's pretty cold this week. It's gotten a lot colder and it actually feels like we're really in the winter now. So today I wanted to talk about another story that I saw in the news and this is a story from mainland Japan actually in Hyogo Prefecture and this is a story about this 45 year old man and he is an super idol fan or what we would say in Japan is an idol otaku and <laughs> so what happened was um, this man had a t-shirt of his favorite idol group and he accidentally threw it into the trash and then when he realized that he threw it away the, the garbage truck had already taken out his trash. So he, he ended up calling the garbage center and asking them if they could find his t-shirt. But sadly for him, they had already burned it up. <laughs> so um, this, I guess, this made him very unhappy. And for the next couple of weeks, he got more and more angry at this situation and the trash, the trash company, I guess. So um, after a couple of weeks, he got onto the internet and he started posting messages. And the message that he posted that got him into trouble was a bomb threat. So a bomb threat is, well, let's start with the word threat. So threat means when you, when you tell someone you're going to do something violent. So for example, I'm going to kick you in the head. That's a threat. Or um, I'm going to blow up your house. That's also a threat. So a bomb threat a bomb, which is a, a bomb explodes. And uh, so a bomb threat is when you say, I'm going to blow up your incinerator factory, which is what he did. That in incinerator factory is the place where garbage is all burned. So he called this... Uh, I guess it was in Osaka City where all of their garbage is actually taken to. So he called the city and said, I'm gonna blow up your I'm gonna blow up your incinerator because you burned up my idol t shirt. So <laughs> so anyway, they I guess they they had to take it seriously because they had to evacuate the entire factory and I guess it caused a lot of trouble for them. So they ended up finding out where he lived and they sent the police to arrest him. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it's if it was really a good move for him to make those kind of threats. <laughs> so yeah, now he's going to be even more trouble. So but actually when I when I first read this story, it kind of reminded me of something in my own life. So I actually have a little bit of experience with bomb threats. When I was in elementary school, actually it's kind of funny, but the first girl that I ever had a crush on, uh, a crush means uh, it means somebody that you like. So I liked this girl, so I had a crush on her. And I was only in like second grade, 
So, you know, I was like seven years old. And uh, I remember that the first love letter I wrote in my life was actually I gave to this girl. So, um, but it turned out she was kind of a troubled girl. <laughs> so when we were in junior high school, um, I, I had already grown out of the crush by then, but she was still in my class. So when I was in junior high school, this girl, um, she got uh, into a little bit of a fight with the teacher and uh, she got kicked out of school. So she couldn't come to school anymore for a couple weeks. And I guess this made her super angry because she called in a bomb threat to my junior high school. She called the school and said, I'm going to blow the school up. So, <laughs> so we all had to leave the school and stand outside and wait for the... My school was really far in the country. So we had to wait a long time for the police to come and they had to search the school and make sure that there was no real bomb there. So basically we spent the whole day outside the school waiting for waiting for the school to be cleared so we could go back in. So I guess well I guess it was okay. We didn't have to study that day, so it was okay. <laughs> so but we didn't know we didn't actually know who called in that bomb threat until later because uh, she never came back to school. So we kind of we kind of suspected that it was her, but we didn't really know. And then uh, it, it actually, there was a news story about it a couple weeks later that a student, they said a student from the local area called in the bomb threat to our school. So of course my school was really small and we all know, we all knew who that student was. <laughs> it was the only student that wasn't going to school at the time. So yeah, so you know, she, I didn't see her for years. She ended up uh, coming to high school for a while, but I don't remember if she even graduated or not. So I guess it's kind of a sad story, but it reminded me of that. So bomb threats are bad. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> and to this idol otaku in... Hyogo Prefecture, uh, you know, I, I hope he doesn't do that again, and I guess I hope he gets a new t-shirt so he doesn't feel that angry again. <laughs> anyway, so that's the story for today. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. You can write comments in the bottom. and. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, I'll see you next time.